this book took you four point five, four and a half oh, years it did. to write, didn't it? Yeah. Does it? I know it doesn't usually take you that long <laughs> to write a book, but but why why did it take so long? It always takes me a while to write a book, and I think it should. You know, a book isn't a it's not a cake. You can't just kind of whisk it up and stick it in the oven no. half an hour later. <laughs> there it is. You have to live with your characters, or I do. You know, you have to live with the story. You have to try out different things. I think that's what took me so long with this one. I really wanted to get it right. Um, you know, I bring these, these two female characters together at a time when being gay was not easy, you know, so it couldn't happen instantly. Um, one of them is married, so that was a further complication. It had to be gradual, it, you know, it had to be leisurely. Um, so I had to kind of build up their relationship bit by bit. I wanted to give a sense of the social world that was surrounding them. This, you know, the dramatic incident that happens in the middle and all that follows was a kind of story of its own, so I had to give that a lot of attention. I had to do lots of research into police procedure, into legal process, into courtroom scenes. Um, so that all took time, and, um, you know, it, 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 was, it all came together in the end. But, yeah, there were a few moments in, in the middle where I w wasn't sure about which way I should take it. Mm -hmm. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I have some fan questions for you. Do? You do? Okay. Yes, I do. There's only three of them. Okay. The first one, why do you choose to write in different time mm. periods? I'm just fascinated by the past, really, you know. I, um, and of course, I, I tend to write the sort of stories that we don't see so much in, in mainstream accounts of history, you know, women's lives, gay lives. Um, that often, in this book in particular, the story's quite domestic, really. I mean, it's dramatic, but the setting is, is a rather mundane one. But of course, most of us live our lives in mundane settings. And certainly throughout history, um, you know, women have often lived their lives in very domestic settings and they don't tend to get to the forefront of the historical record. So for me, writing about housework felt like quite a political thing to do. You know, housework yeah. in the 1920s, it's sort of reclaiming that, putting it at the, at the centre. And that always inspires me as a novelist. So, yeah, I, I just find an endless fascination in, in returning to the past and teasing out stories that we haven't necessarily heard before. All right, the next one. Which of your novels was the hardest to write, and why? Um, well, this was pretty hard, I must <laughs> say. Uh, in it, hard. None of them are I easy. don't want to suggest. No. Well, some of them are straightforward, like my last book, Little Stranger, which is a haunted house story. Actually, very straightforward book to write. Um, but this was much more character-based in a way, I think, and that's what always takes the time with me. Uh, the Night Watch, another book of mine set in the Second World War, that again, a very character-based novel. And I just have to live with the characters for a while and, and get to know them and, 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 you know, try them in different settings, um, see what they have to say. You know, sometimes they'll talk rubbish and sometimes they'll say a line and I'll think, yes, of course, that line is the essence of this character and then I can, you know, then I can build, build, build them up for the reader. So this book was a challenge, but I'm also incredibly fond of it. And, and sometimes I think the most challenging books can end up being the most rewarding. Mm -hmm. yeah. and the last one. In The Little Stranger, it could have been a ghost story or it could have just been the protagonist going a little unhinged. Were the clues in the story that she brought into one outcome or the other or was it meant to leave the reader guessing? Uh -huh. I'm often asked about the ending of uh, The Little Stranger, it's true. I, I think there are lots of clues. I think there are plenty of clues in the book as to how it should be read. There's a big clue in the last line of the novel, and not to say any more than that, but <laughs> I, I think it's kind of... But at the same time, I did leave it relatively ambiguous, because I, I think ambiguity is a wonderful thing, and I think when you're writing a novel of the supernatural, there has to be an element of unknowability. You know, something strange has happened. We can't explain it away. So I wanted there to be that element to The Little Stranger. So I'm basically, diplomatically, I suppose, I'm very happy for readers to read that book in, in different ways, to, to give it the resolution, or the explanation rather, that, that I feel is there, but also to see it as a bit more open-ended. Now you're off to the French Literary Festival yeah. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yes. Right. This is your first time in South Africa, yes, isn't is. it? Are you enjoying it? Are we being very nice much. to you? Very, very nice. I've had a great <laughs> welcome. It's lovely to see Cape Town. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing Franchek. I've heard lovely things about him. Have you done any sightseeing? Uh, just yesterday I had a free day, so I, I got up to go up Table Mountain in the revolving cable car, which was a great treat in all sorts of ways. 
And I've had a little tour of, of the city, and uh, it's just been lovely to see it. It's amazing. Mm. Now, I always ask international authors this. Are there any South African authors that you are excited to pick up while you're here uh -huh. or meet at the festival? Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know, you know, about new writers mm -hmm. I haven't read before. Um, I am a big fan of Damon Gorgut's work, mm -hmm. and I had the great honor to meet him at another festival recently, and I know he'll be at Franschuk, so I'm looking forward to seeing him again, um, Mark Gavissa as well. Uh, so yeah, there are definitely some writers I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure having thank you, you here. You can pick up Sarah Waters' The Paying Guests at all good bookstores in South Africa. If you've read the book already, let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below this video.